So WWE Hell in a Cell pay-per-view is just around the corner, wrestlers are ready to put on great performances, fans are expecting another great Hell in a Cell match, and Roman Reigns is chilling. Two titles, one champion, zero defenses. Roman is living that life, ladies and gentlemen. Another big rumor is that Bray Wyatt might be making his WWE return. Everything good that's ever happened to me first came a period horrible suffering. I never ask why, I just wait for the rough part to end. I was chosen for whatever reason, and I've got shit to do. It doesn't hurt anymore, it burns. I say the exact same thing after spicy food. I'm ready now. I'm tired of hearing irrelevant clowns speculating how I'll be perceived. I'm tired of hearing about my greed, my desire question. Whenever and whenever I decide to return, I'll remind everyone why they know my name. Again and again. Believe in me, I found it. Patience, it's almost time. Man, I'm getting Veer vibes from this. The wait was long, but it was worth it. So obviously people are speculating that Bray Wyatt might make his return during Hell in a Cell. Not only the paper is happening tomorrow, I've said Bray Wyatt is more valuable to the WWE than ever before. And also Bray Wyatt and Hell in a Cell, th th there's history. Not good history, but th 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 there's history. Possibly one of the worst Hell in a Cell matches of all time. Seth Rollins is in one, so there is a big possibility we might just see Bray Wyatt making his return. Now, my prediction is no, we will not see Bray Wyatt, unfortunately. But it's an interesting discussion. Let me know in the comments below. Do you believe we will see Bray Wyatt at Hell in a Cell? Do you think there is even a chance? Bray Wyatt really suffered from overexposure. I remember being so sick of the Firefly Funhouse. WWE took something special and made it into repetitive garbage. But now people miss Bray Wyatt. And whether it's just Bray Wyatt or The Fiend or Ho Bray, this would be an absolute game changer for the WWE right now. But let's make our Hell in a Cell predictions. The build was bad. Like, come on. I, I feel like this month, SmackDown and Raw were just so freaking boring. Like, Raw definitely improved. It's not a bad show. It's just that I'm not really feeling the storylines. I'm not feeling anything on this card except for Cody versus Seth Rollins and Ezekiel versus Kevin Owens, but I'm not excited about the match. I just find the whole thing funny, you know? It's also hilarious how Madcap Moss versus Happy Corbin is the only SmackDown match. What happened right here? SmackDown sucks so much. They don't even have matches on the pay-per-view. Speaking of Madcap Moss versus Happy Corbin, it's a storyline I don't necessarily care about. I'm just happy that Madcap Moss got some kind of a gimmick change. It's a no-holds-barred match, so uh, I don't think it's going to be bad. It might surprise us. And my prediction is going to be Madcap Moss because he definitely needs it more. United States Championship match, Theory versus Mustafa Ali. I mean, this is not the worst thing I've seen probably. The biggest positive about this whole thing is that Mustafa Ali is legit getting a championship opportunity. You know, I'm happy that WWE are kinda, I would say, maybe treating him better. Not sure though. It's also nice that the United States Championship is being defended on a pay-per-view. Now, my prediction is Austin Theory or just theory, there's no way Mustafa is winning this match. Finn Balor, AJ Styles and Liv Morgan versus The Judgment Day. This is a confusing one for me. I'm happy that we see a lot of people who maybe wouldn't get that much TV time in a big rivalry, they weren't doing anything. So I'm happy that we're getting this big rivalry with a bunch of names. I'm just not really feeling this Judgment Day thing, you know? We don't care about the fans so much, we keep talking about them in every promo for 5 minutes at least. It's kinda cool yet, kinda childish. I, I don't know how to explain this. It's really hard to pull off these kinda supernatural gimmicks and this time it, it just ain't working in my opinion. I feel like the Judgment Day is going to win this match. I mean, that would make sense. Just to make things a bit more interesting, my prediction is also that Finn Balor is going to turn on AJ Styles and Liv Morgan. Probably not gonna happen, but I feel like that would be pretty interesting. Ezekiel versus Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens is a crazy man. He keeps saying that Ezekiel is Elias. It's like, dude, there are Usos. The Usos look so much alike. Do you think it's the same person? Have you not seen the pictures? I kinda like the story because it's funny. You know, it's kinda getting repetitive, but it's kinda funny. The match itself is not something I really care about, you know. Unless something crazy happens, but I really doubt it. 
In my opinion, Ezekiel is going to win this match. Owens is going to be angry and go and eat tantrum or something along those lines. That That's basically it. Bobby Lashley versus Omos and MVP. Another match that I just... I don't know. Like, this, this pay-per-view... Maybe it's one of these WWE pay-per-views that doesn't look good on paper, but surprises the hell out of us that happened during the last pay-per-view, I believe. Uh, but yeah, I'm not feeling this. I'm kind of... I'm over this rivalry. I'm over Bobby Lashley versus Omos. I get it. Omos and MVP are going to take the W in this one. I guess. I don't care. Raw Women's Championship. Bianca Belair versus Asuka versus Becky Lynch. This is as predictable as it could get because legit we weren't even supposed to get this match. Becky was supposed to retain against Naomi. So now it's just, yeah. Okay, to be fair, this is a lot more interesting than... Um, Bianca Belair versus Naomi like like this is going to be a much better match It does feel kind of important like you could put this match at Wrestlemania, right? It's kind of sad that this is not a Hell in a Cell match like uh, I think during a Hell in a Cell pay-per-view We need two Hell in a Cell matches like come on. It's a gimmick pay-per-view make it make sense Now obviously my prediction is Bianca Belair and Cody Rose versus Seth Freaking Rollins. Whoever decided to call Seth Rollins freaking deserves to be fire ASAP. Freaking! I don't freaking care! Frick! Is he nine? This is a good story. You know, this is a good story. It's going to be part three, and this is a tricky one. It's a Hell in a Cell match. It's the third match. Seth Rollins lost twice. So, you know, Seth Rollins is a big deal in the WWE. It seems like he should win, but at the same time, you can't hurt Cody's credibility. He cannot lose. He cannot lose until he faces uh, Roman Reigns. And maybe he should win against Roman Reigns as well. Probably should. So it's really a tricky one. And that kind of gives me a pubic hair of hope that Bray Wyatt might just make his return and basically destroy everyone in this match. And we're gonna get this overbooked crap, but in a good way. So maybe we are going to see Bray Wyatt returning. I don't have high hopes, but... Neither man can actually lose. So my prediction is Cody, but at the same time, my prediction is Bray Wyatt returns and does things. So these are my Hell in a Cell predictions. Let me know yours in the comments below. Are you excited about the pay-per-view? I'm just not feeling it. Uh, we don't have a world championship. That basically says WWE don't really care about this pay-per-view. Thank you for watching the great one. Peace, love, and hugs. It's been a pleasure. <laughs>